The most powerful movies are the tender ones that teach us not to despair or worry about grief. They remind us that hope is precious and may give our lives purpose and meaning. Shawshank Redemption is one of those movies. It creates a warm hold on our feelings and tells the story of men who have formed a family in prison. It is deeper than most films. It's about a lifetime of continuity built on friendship. The Shawshank Redemption was both written and directed by Frank Darabont, who adapted it from a story by Stephen King. Darabont's approach to filmmaking is unique. He allows the story to unfold at a comfortable pace, something that many other films shy away from. Andy is sentenced to prison for the murders of his wife Linda and her lover. Despite the evidence linking him to the crime on the night of the killings, he continually maintains his innocence, which Red eventually accepts. The judge who sentenced him called him a particularly remorseless and icy man. Andy initially finds it difficult to get used to prison life, especially since he is perceived as a snob by many of the other inmates. He is often attacked and raped in the wash area by a group of men known as the Sisters, while the guards stand by. Andy battles the Sisters, although doing so consistently lands him in the infirmary and occasionally in solitary confinement. The core of the movie's design lies in our connection with the main character, rather than focusing solely on him. It's about our feelings towards him, our curiosity, our sympathy, and our respect. If Andy had been the typical hero, enduring everything with bravery, the movie would have been ordinary and less intriguing. But we're intrigued by him. Did he truly commit the crimes he's accused of? Why is he so secretive? How come he walks around the prison yard with such ease, while everyone else seems burdened? Shortly after Andy comes to Shawshank, he talks to Red, asking him to find a small hammer used for breaking rocks. Andy tells Red he likes collecting and shaping rocks. Later on, Andy gives Red some money to get him some special clothes used for making rocks shiny. Then, a bit worriedly, Andy asks Red to sneak in a big picture of a famous actress named Rita Hayworth. After a couple of years, Red and Andy find themselves working together on the roof of the prison's license plate factory. While they're up there, Andy hears a guard named Byron Hadley talking about the money he inherited from his brother and how he's worried about the taxes he'll have to pay on it. Andy steps in and gives Hadley some advice, suggesting he give the money to his wife as a tax-free gift. Andy even offers to help with the paperwork in exchange for some beers for the other prisoners working on the roof. At first, Hadley is unsure, but eventually he agrees. This act makes Andy popular among the prisoners and earns him respect. Because of this, Andy gains favour with the guards and the warden. They protect him from trouble, like the sisters, and give him a job as the prison librarian. They also make sure he has his cell without other inmates. Andy takes advantage of his new position and spends the next 20 years building up the library, making it a valuable resource for everyone in the prison. Andy begins by helping the guards with their taxes, but soon his duties grow to include hiding money for the prison wardens, like Samuel Norton, who is known for his strong religious beliefs. Andy doesn't see anything wrong with hiding the money Norton gets from construction companies. However, he doesn't realise that by doing this, he's making it harder for himself to ever get out of Shawshank. A new guy named Tommy Williams comes to Shawshank and tells Andy that he was in jail with someone who confessed to killing a tennis player named Glenn Quentin. Andy asks the prison boss, Norton, to help him get a new trial for the guy who confessed. But Norton doesn't listen and punishes Andy by putting him in solitary confinement for more than a month, giving him only bread and water to eat. Norton also sends Tommy away to another prison because he's worried Andy might reveal his secret money scheme if he's let out of jail. Even after Andy tries to talk sense into Norton again and ends up in solitary confinement once more, he gives up on the idea. This makes him more quiet and thoughtful, spending more time thinking by himself. After a long time of feeling down, Andy shares with Red that he arranged for a friend to create a fake identity for him. This fake person invested $14,000 of Andy's money, and now it's grown to more than $370,000. But Andy can't use this money because it's tied to his fake identity. And if he tries to access it, he could get caught 
and lose everything. The important papers and valuable bonds are kept safe in a bank deposit box. And the key to it is hidden under a black volcanic rock in the countryside near the prison. Andy dreams of escaping one day, taking on his new identity and starting a small hotel in Mexico. He even imagines Red joining him on this adventure. Red doesn't pay much attention to Andy's plans until many years later, when the prison guards discover that Andy's cell is empty one morning. They search everywhere in the prison, but find no trace of him. It's only when Norton, the warden, angrily tears down Andy's pin-up poster that they find a big hole in the concrete wall behind it. This hole leads to a sewage drain pipe that goes out into the marshes around Shawshank. Red realizes that Andy must have been chiseling away at the wall every night for nearly 20 years using the rock hammer and polishing cloths he got from Red. After finishing the hole, Red thinks Andy must have waited about eight years before finally gathering the courage to escape. Despite searching the marshes and nearby towns, there's no sign of Andy. Norton, the warden, can't handle the pressure and has a breakdown, eventually quitting his job. Months later, Red gets a postcard from a town near the Texas border, but it's blank. The rumor of Andy's escape spreads like wildfire in the prison, making him even more legendary. He's not just seen as someone who got away, but as a symbol of hope. Andy never let the prison break his spirit. Currently, Red works as a bag boy at a supermarket. On his days off, he visits the countryside, partly because he enjoys the freedom and wide open spaces, but also because he's searching for the volcanic rock where Andy hid the key to the safe deposit box. Red spends his days wandering through the countryside, looking for the stone wall Andy had discussed years ago. After a few weeks of searching, he finally finds the right rock. Underneath it, Red finds a letter meant for him from Peter Stevens, which was Andy's fake name. The letter asks Red to come to Mexico and gives him $1,000 as a gift. Feeling hopeful about the future, Red decides to leave his job, break his parole, and head to Mexico to find Andy. Some say that life itself feels like being in a prison, with Red representing us and Andy symbolizing our savior. The Shawshank Redemption teaches us important lessons. It shows us that even when life is hard, we should never give up hope. Andy Dufresne faces many challenges, but he stays strong and never loses hope. His friendship with Red also teaches us the value of having good friends who support us. Truly, all good art dives into deeper truths than it initially reveals. The movie also reminds us to always do what's right, even when it's difficult. Andy's honesty and integrity help him overcome tough times in prison. Thank you for watching.